So we will now watch the Black Mirror episode Nose Dive. I have seen it. It's been a, it's been a while. I've seen it once. This will be Erin's first time mm-hmm. watching it. So she doesn't know too much about it. So she will go in almost blind. But she can still see the TV. So figure that one out. There you go. As long so as my glasses are on. What? As long as my yes. glasses are on. So we will watch it and we will review it. So you hear a review right after uh, you hear a review in a couple seconds, but then we'll include commentary as well. So it's just stuff that we blurt out while uh, while the episode is on. So away we go. So what'd you think? That was terrifying, but well done. Uh huh. I think I'm going to live in a world like that. No, no, I don't think I it's can like, either. It's like the worst mishmash of high school and credit ratings. Right, but it's, I think what they wanted to do, they wanted to take something like Facebook likes or, or like I think with Uber, I don't, I don't take Uber mm-hmm. or Lyft. I think with Uber, you review your drivers yeah. or they review you. Yeah, and so the ranking matters and yeah, the yeah. algorithm. I think Instagram might be like that too. I don't know. Exactly. But, we refuse to use it. Yeah. So they, um, you know, and, and it it comments about, you know, there are some people that have their Facebook persona or their social media persona and then what happens in real life. And sometimes those two are, are completely different. Yeah. So what this episode did, I think, so well was that it brought that out into the real world, but made the real world just seem just as phony as social media can be. Mm-hmm. So um, I think it did it well. And I think in ba- in life, in real life, there's a balance. I mean, you don't want to air all your dirty laundry out to strangers, mm-hmm. you know. But at the same time, you don't want to put on such a mask yeah. that uh, you become phony. So I think somewhere in the middle mm-hmm. is a good place to be. And then you, you let your guards down based on who you know and, and, and the people that you're with. Mm-hmm. Right. Um. I mean, the people in the show mm-hmm. did not do that. Well, yeah, and I think that's the point. Right. Well, they didn't like, do it until the end. There was no, yeah. Well, there was nothing genuine. There was nothing real. Right. There was nothing human about any of these people. Well, some of the character, like her brother was. Yeah. That's her, true. Uh, the the truck driver, and then yeah. at the end, the other guy in the uh, in the jail with her. Mm-hmm. And it was such a release. It was almost like they were flirting because they were so happy to just be released of those constraints where they I can just say. I would have loved to see say, the next three minutes of the Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't get when when she saw like the dust going through the air at the end. I wonder if that was because she was seeing that, like maybe her contact lenses filtered that, fil- filtered that out. Remember, she started crying. And you just saw like dust. Kind of floating down. I've seen the dust. It was at the end. It was like some dust particles oh. coming down. Oh, up. right. She thought she was seeing snow. Yeah. I have no idea. Yeah, so I don't know. Maybe that was like me. I don't know. I, it, they didn't really explain it well. Maybe it was like <gasps> they kind of filtered the lenses, filtered that out. I don't know. I, I have no idea. It could just be a dirty gel cell. You know. Yeah, but why did they? Ha- yeah, no, I know. I get focus it. so I get much it. attention on She's it. She's seeing reality. Maybe. I don't know. So, but, um,. But yeah, it would be interesting. You know, at, at least the truck driver gave the gives the audience an idea of what she can be. Yeah. Where finally she just lets go and just doesn't care mm-hmm. anymore. And like showing what her brother, who her brother is, you know, mm-hmm. his idea on how to live life. But you know, I think I think Bryce Dallas Howard did it so well. Just you know, and all the actors in it. Just like when she's on the elevator, Which one was Bryce Dallas Howard? she was the star. She was the lead. Oh, the redhead? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so she's in Jurassic World. She's been in a bunch of movies. She's Ron Howard's daughter, the director Ron Howard. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, she's been acting for a while. And she's a great actress. Mm. But I think she, she did it so well as that, it, that phoniness, you know, just from giggling at the beginning. Like, it just, it was cringeworthy, but that's, yeah. I think they wanted, they wanted it to be like that. Because in a way, you know, that's how some people are. And right. it's... You know, it's just, a, it's, it's you know, compare social media. You know, it's comparison to social media and just taken to an extreme. And I kept trying to put it out of my mind so it wouldn't distract me, but I kept harping back on, I work retail. And it's 
it's like an art to be genuine. Mm-hmm. Which I think is why I've been so successful, and I, why when I, especially when I first started, I was getting a lot of part of my part of the incentive of my job is customers can write something, and and you and you earn a certain you earn stuff if the customers reflect positively on you. Mm-hmm. And I think that one of the reasons why I excelled at that is because I am genuine in my conversations with them. And right, like I'm a weird person that legit cares about people that I'm. Yeah. I'm interacting with. Like, you tell me about your day. I really want to know about your day. I really want to take you over and stop working and, like, okay. Like, I had one customer that that said that her mom just died. And I, like, legit took her hands in my hand and, like, almost started crying and was, like, talking to her about it. Because my mom died and it's a a soft spot for me. Um, And it's, like, this, this thing, like, people think that you're fake or, like, people can tell when you're being fake and when you're not. And, um, or at least I can hope, I hope that they can. Right. And it's a matter of genuine versus fake. And this whole show, everybody was fake. Right, right. And they know they're being fake in this world, but they can't say. They don't care. No, no, no. They may care, but they're trapped. Mm. So they're in a prison. And at the end, when Bryce Dallas Howard and the other actor were actually in a prison, that's when they were the most free. Right, because they... Could be. Yeah, because they had those. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, like, the people at the wedding could really feel one way, but they have to put on that persona to get their their rankings up. Now, they may genuinely want to have a high number, Mm -hmm. but what does that tell you about about them and that world? Right. You know? So, uh, yeah, I just really, this was the first Black Mirror episode I ever saw. And I just, I like the look of it. Mm-hmm. I like their interpretation of the future. Yeah. And uh, just the style of it. So there was, like, this one, again, compared to a lot of the other Black Mirror episodes, was lighthearted. Uh, there were some dark moments, though, yeah. in it. But uh, there are some episodes of Black Mirror where it's like, what the fuck is going on? But, uh, so yeah, so this was a good first Black Mirror episode, a good introduction for me, uh, into Black Mirror. So then I watched like all the other ones after that. Right. So, but, Mm -hmm. um, anything else to say about the episode? Anything else that stood out? Mm, I don't think so. Nothing I've ever said before. Other than the fact that people only, like, in the end, a lot of people only, like, look out for themselves and they're... Whatever form of their bottom line mm-hmm. it is. In this but, case, it's rankings and some... In, like, our world, it's, like, money or whatever. Right, but it's... But I think what the show did well, it took the characters that didn't care about that sort of thing, and it it fleshed them out. So, mm-hmm. again, the truck driver, her brother, uh, her... And her brother her did, the must end. not have been so uncaring if his ranking was a 3.1. Right, so he just... He might have gotten, like, a 3 because he was being... He, because he didn't exciting. care. He didn't care if he was a 1. He didn't care if he was a 3. He was just doing his own thing. Yeah. So he naturally might have been a 3, mm-hmm. you know? But, again, he didn't try right. to be anything. He didn't try to be something that he wasn't. Just positive interactions with, like... The truck the driver seemed, like, a genuinely yeah. nice one. She just didn't care. So, you know, if she did something, quote unquote, wrong, you know, and people docked her, she just didn't care, you know, and then the guy at the end didn't care. Now, the chess, the the guy who gave Bryce Dallas Dallas Howard the the smoothies, you know, he was trying, you know, he became what, you know, he was what she became. Well, he would have been locked out of his own job. Well, that's that's another thing. So you have these social, you have these social constraints. And these social obstructions on people, if they want a certain job, if they want a certain apartment, if they want a certain this, if they want if they want to go to wait online less amount of time. That's where the credit theme yeah. kind of comes in. So into. it creates it's a it's it's social points. Yeah. Too. So um so again it kinda took things in the real world where, you know, say if you I don't know, if you throw a tantrum at a supermarket and you're an adult and then you try and, you know, if, if you try to get online somewhere to, to, 
to like say if you have one item and there's a person in, yeah, in yeah, front yeah, of no, you, you, you know, it, say if you it, have yeah. a yeah, if you have one item and there's a person in front of you with a full shopping cart, they may not let you go ahead of them because you they know don't they let see, you check out at all, or they, or they see you do something inappropriate or something mean, they could throw you out of the place. Right. You know, so that social rule, or say you're at a bar or something, you know, Mm -hmm. and you're acting inappropriately, they will throw you out. Or at a restaurant, any public place, they will throw you out based on the social norms that are Mm -hmm. created. So, um... And that harkens back to the, the, um, in our modern society, like, of trying to get an apartment, and if your credit rate oh, is yeah. enough, yeah, that's true. They won't even care that yeah. you're just starting a new job and you're starting your life over and yeah. you're doing stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, they don't care. Yeah, yeah, because they just see the bottom line. Which right? Is, well, can this person? They see your credit rate? rating yeah. and they don't give. They they don't care that you paid your rent yeah. on time every month for years. Yeah, because your credit rating isn't good. Yeah. Yep. Just bullshit. Yeah, I remember like I used to work in for a real estate management company and we would, I mean, they, I mean, they were, they were, uh, fair in that they would look at what a person made. Uh, if they didn't make enough, they would look at the guarantor and then they would look at whatever the person owes in debt wise. So if the person owed money based on like a medical issue, which a lot of them did, mm-hmm. they wouldn't take that into account. Cause it's like, well, it's a medical issue. That's you know? Oh God, I don't. I don't think so. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to remember. It was so long ago. I don't think so. Yeah. But I was. It was always a, well, like I had to look at the application. So it was always if it's medical, it's not a big deal, you know. But if it's like certain amount of credit card debt, there was like, eh, okay, well, why is there a debt, you know? But mm-hmm. medical was like, okay, no big deal, you know. If the salary was okay, it was it was no big deal. So and then it was usually judged on it's like say if the rent was a thousand dollars a month. The person needed to gross a thousand dollars a week, right. you know, unless there was a guarantor, just to make sure the person could pay the rent. Well, this podcast certainly isn't paying the rent, but I do it anyway because it's fun. So uh, let this rant, mini mini rant about not making money with this podcast, be a bridge into our commentary. Cross the bridge. Cross the bridge. You have crossed the bridge. Yeah, running. I don't know how people can see things on their phone when they're running. Mm. I recognize her. Like she looks familiar. Oh, she's been in a lot of stuff. She was in uh, Jurassic World. Okay. Yeah. I mean, she looks like I was like, maybe she just has that that look. The Village was another one. Poor guy. Mm. This reminds me of the article about YouTube I was reading before. What? Um, just like, you know, ratings and algorithms and all that other mm-hmm. garbage. Well, China is trying to start a program kind of similar to what's going on in this show, where oh, people are, yeah, individuals right. are rated, yeah. And you get a really major downtick if you do anything bad. Mm. Pound. I feel like people do this with Instagram. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's the point. It's it's trying to make. It's one of the reasons why I don't even want to do Instagram is because, like, I don't want to get into that headspace mm. where I'm just, like, thirsty for people to like my stuff. Yeah. Hey, I'm not even on Instagram. I want to, yeah, I want to be like, against it. But... Yeah, I have an account, but I don't ever really go on it. Mm. I mostly use it for people that aren't on Facebook anymore just right. to see what they're up to and whatever. And your popularities could be based on the phony things that you do right. in order to get those high ratings. Or some of it could be genuine, some of it could be phony. Mm-hmm. Oh, tool time. I mean, home improvement. At least there's no traffic. Yeah, it's surprising. Uh oh. Because nobody really drives that much. Mm-hmm. Or it could be just late at night. Triple A would have on. Maybe. Is a triple A in the future? Yeah, she looks familiar, the the blonde. She's in a lot of like B list movies and um especially horror movies. Oh. Like fake horror movies. But also other things that are, you know. Hmm. I can't remember. <laughs> and 
now you're dead. Uh. I'll have to IMDB this episode so you can see you'll yeah. keep running. Because the trucker lady, I've seen her in stuff that I like. Mm. But, of course, I can't remember anything right now. If the society ever gets like this, I'm going to commit suicide. Well, you'll be like the trucker. I guess so. I don't want to drive a truck. Well, you know what I mean. Like, you won't necessarily be driving a truck. You, you would be like her. Mm. She just doesn't care. Yeah. They gave up their bike pretty easily. I know, right? This reminds me of when I used to do weddings. Huh? It reminds me of all the weddings that I did. Oh. Rashida Jones, look at that. Who's Rashida Jones? Um, Parks and Rec. Oh, okay. Oh, was she one of the cast? No, she was a producer. Oh. Let me stop this. Stop it. Stop it. All right, Aaron. I stopped it. So this is yet another bridge, but this bridge bridges, see what it did? The bridge bridges the gap between the commentary and now the plugs. I'm so self-explanatory. Or not self-explanatory, just podcast explanatory. Anything else? No. All right. Black Mirror... Episode number two for mm-hmm. Aaron that is watched. Yeah. So, all right. Where can they find you? I mean, you could kind of find me on Twitter when I remember to go on. At E-R-U-N-U-E-V-O. Mm-hmm. And I'm good luck on... finding me. Yes, good luck. Good luck with that. I haven't, I haven't had time to do... Whatever. The Christmas season's over, so I might have time to actually mess around on Twitter now. And I am at M M A M Podcast on Twitter, M M A M Podcast on Facebook. And so feel free to rate, share, send me a message, do all that good stuff. All right, everybody. Later. Bye. Happy New Year.